Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so another installation video. This is the Thermal Take uh, Tough Air 110. We've had this uh, installed on a couple of CPUs now, but uh, we're going to try it with the i7. This is basically going into a uh, shootout video I'm going to do. Wow, hopefully that vacuum cleaner running upstairs is not going to uh, drive you guys nuts. But uh, one of the things you have to do is set up your uh, backing plate here. All right, so you can see we have these screws in here. I've already put them in here to save time for those. So this is a LGA 1700 motherboard, and you can see which position that is for this, okay? So we're going to put this up underneath here, into the four holes in the back. And hopefully get those in there, no problems. All right, so now those posts are pointed up. And let's see. I'm going to move in a little closer, folks. Um, so first thing we want to do is put our spacers in here. Push those all the way down. Now the next step, we've got to figure out this guy, okay? I haven't done this in a while, but uh, this is going to sit on top of the very base, very base of this. All right, and so we are going to, we have to figure out which way we want this oriented. And so this is the fun part, folks. Hopefully we did this right. I'd pull out the directions, but... All right. So if I put that in there like that, of course, we're eventually going to put thermal paste on here. Um, you see we'll be able to access these screws through there. And so... Multiple ways you can put this on here. And then this guy is going to fit underneath here. If we can just get a better angle for y'all. So this would come in basically line that up and screw that in, okay? So, before we can do that, we need our thermal paste and we need to tighten down these brackets. Now there are two, two ways to put this plate in, so make sure that you put the right side facing up. Otherwise, you're going to be redoing it. Well, in my case, I might have to redo the video, right? So this is interesting because the dimensions of this guy is, you know, bit more rectangular like the CPU it would appear that you would get better contact in this orientation or in this orientation now of course this doesn't allow you the ability to access that first RAM slot 
So you would have to install your ram first. Uh, the same with this orientation. Now, you could go this way. And depending on where the, the heat is really coming from the CPU itself, this may be adequate. We're coming in this way, right? But I think just to do just to do it, we're gonna come in at this at this angle, alright? So let's put a little thermal paste on there. And honestly, I'm not got the instructions, folks. I'm not really sure if I should go the other way. But uh we are going to try this out and I'm going to try it the other orientation make another video about it whether it was a success or not all right so like I said we're going to try it this way Get that to sit in there, right? Okay. And I'm basically trying to get these two screws in. So we got one side there for sure. Let's go back to this side. Now we're going to alternate threading or screwing these in because the way this is designed, it looks like you're better off doing that. So it is... Uh, Moving all over the place, folks. And tighten it down. So, still some movement. Now, is that on purpose or did we install it incorrectly? We'll find out when we, we do our uh, videos, checking out the temperatures. Here is our CPU cooler. This will just pop on here nice and easy, like so. Boom. And then we're going to have this long cord. And you want to tie that down. This should be our CPU power connector right here, four pin. And boom, we're done, folks. All right, well, thanks for checking out the video. I'll have links down below if you want to see how the, the thermals are on this for um, XTU benchmark and Cinebench R20. We'll also do a game of Fortnite with it.